So in the first problem, the main important thing, guys, is whenever you see, whenever you see a polynomial that you have common terms, Chris, the first thing you always want to do is look for the greatest common factor. Now, you could use the box method and determine like what would be the common side length here. And you guys can see that the common side length is going to be 2. right? So you could factor out a 2. That would give you a squared plus 11a plus 60. 30, sorry. We have to divide that out. right? So in reality, we have 2 times a squared plus 11a plus 30. Then they wanted you to factor this completely. So basically, we're looking at what two numbers multiply to give you 30, add to give you positive 11. So again, in your head, you're going to want to list out all of the factors that multiply to give you 30. So in my head, I'm thinking of these. And then I'm thinking, which of these factors add to give me a positive 11? We can see that's 6 and 5. You could use the box, but in reality, you guys hopefully will realize that your factored form is just going to be those factors when my a is equal to 1. So that would be your final factorized form. Okay. Next example is 